To be a, a championship team, you need championship performances. You need championship preparation. You need to be focused on the goals and the reasons why you came here. Come on, keep going, just don't quit. Don't quit. Come on, get after it, get after it, let's go. You basically have to give 100% of your body and your mind, you know, willing to accept failure, willing to accept the adversity that's gonna come throughout our entire season. We have the people, we have the ingredients here uh, in this, on this team to be champions of the Metro Atlantic. The Buck and Brock Challenge is, is something that we, that we started two years ago uh, that we felt would be a great challenge for our guys uh, from a physical standpoint. It was also a, a team building type activity so as we wrap up the fall season. The guys seem to thrive on it. Uh, they look forward to it. It's, it's a challenge uh, individually and uh, you know it seems to work that it worked out pretty well here the last couple years. You worked your way through campus you know from the front of campus at the entrance all the way to the back of campus where the baseball field is located. We're heading behind West Village and they're supposed to be coming you know right in front of Mauer here. West Village and then they go go behind West Village and there's a gravel road they got to hang around uh, run about I don't know about 500 yards I'd say Nick is that about right? Yeah. To the track uh, some tire flips grabbing sandbags we round cones uh, we jogged to the top of the highest hill I could find on campus returning to the field carrying bags or uh, carrying up uh, you know buck ball buckets around the field you know once they got done with that then they entered through the fence and then they did uh, what we would call 50 burpees and then from there they would uh, jump over a wall we had built at that point of the event the guys are pretty uh, pretty spent and then they move on to uh, step ups on the on the bleachers which uh, we've added an extra 50 last year it was 50 we put made it 100 this year we thought we'd challenge them a little bit more and then back to the baseball field to throw tires over top of a screen then we worked our way down to the turf field where we had four sleds and uh, each one of those sleds uh, had a hundred pounds on it and they had to pull the sled um, from one in, from from one side to halfway and then back the other and then they ran across the field with a med ball forward and backward uh, laid the med ball down and then finished in the center of the uh, soccer field I think you know one of the one of the things that's kind of uh, cool, if you'd say, about the challenge is that it was it was very difficult, but it was also very fun as a team building type activity. And I think uh, it, it sort of brought us together a little bit there. So this year when we did it, I think they were looking forward to it. Huh? Yeah, so exhausted. So exhausted. Uh, you're all right, Smith. Yeah, I'm good. On, right. <laughs> and you can tell by looking at some of the paint on the faces and the, and the hoods and the gloves and the long sleeves and the tights they sort of you know take it to a level where you know it becomes fun for them and that's what we want are you ready for the iron bronc challenge can't wait certainly it's a challenge like we keep saying uh, but we met the objective and uh, we had fun we were conditioned we were challenged and uh, and everybody finished and uh, it was just a good day well, I guess I guess the dirt on the players' faces. Um, I don't know. I guess they feel like they're they're uh, they're uh, Marines. Uh, I guess I'm not sure. Navy SEALs. Uh, I have no idea. But uh, it looks tough. Um, and I think if you're going to put dirt on your face, you better finish in the top ten. And I have to go back and check the records. But that's that's the way I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that about right? Uh, just trying to look like a bad <laughs> to bang this thing out. Win. Am I on camera? Yeah. Oh. Alright, I'm just. Cut that then. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to get, get me laughing at their pain. <laughs> Well, Coach Coach Stewart, this is his fifth year as our as our pitching coach, and and he has a sense of humor 
Uh, it's a little different than uh, some of the other guys. He's, he's about as straightforward as they as they come, and uh, he has fun with the guys, um, you know. And uh, he likes to see them suffer a little bit at times. So I think I think it's fun to watch his reactions to uh, when they struggle. Hey, I'm hey, expecting hey, about hey, four or five casualties listen, today. Huh? Listen, we're sitting in one. <laughs> about an hour. I think our group did pretty well. I pulled my back. <laughs> Feel good. Relieved. Tired. I don't know, it's numb. Thank God it's over. Can't wait for some water. Barely hanging in, man. Barely hanging in. It's tiring out here. It's tiring. Relief. We're done. It's relief, though. You're awesome. right. It is relief. Relief is all around. Turn it around. Well, the winner of the, uh, the Buck and Bronc Challenge was uh, right handed pitcher senior Sean Coubre. It really means a lot to me. You know, it's uh, especially going out as a senior to uh, go out as a. Uh, the champion, I guess, is uh, it's a good feeling. Relieved? Yeah. <laughs> so give, it, you... give it a try. You'll be saying that too. The moment is. It's glad to be done. Glad to be done. It's definitely not easy. It's definitely an achievement. You know, to all the seniors out there, I just want to thank you for all the time and effort you've spent with me for the last four years. Hopefully it's been a great experience for you. Uh, you came in in 2010, we, we won you know, the championship that year. I think we had the team uh, to win this year and certainly you guys have uh, exhibited great leadership and uh, hopefully this year will, will be our year and we'll be back champs in 2013. I want to go out as a champion. I want a second ring and I think we got the team to do it so let's, uh, let's go out there and get it done. Man, you have a great opportunity here. I mean, Ryder's known, Ryder Baseball's known uh, for, for winning championships. You had two coaches prior to me that are uh, both in the Hall of Fame. Uh, we've won, uh, Ryder's won 12 conference championships, been to 14 regionals. I mean, there are people in the room tonight that have won a championship, and in some cases, multiple championships. So you guys have a great challenge ahead of you. I know you can do it. We, uh, we certainly believe in you, and I know you believe in each other. And uh, we're looking forward to working working together and, and striving for that goal of the MAC championship, and I want to wish you the best of luck.